get to the to the Baldur's Gate. No spoilers. We didn't. I didn't know it was Baldur's Gate three. Just just so I'm aware. What am I? Res- am I mm-hmm. responding to a dragon here, mm-hmm. or is it a is it a, a milkmaid? Which one was it? Oh, you go great. Thank you. The worlds. The actors often don't know anything about them, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't have a, 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 an idea of how to approach it. Mm-hmm. And actually, I think it was quite helpful. Some of these things, you get a you get a voice director, you get a movement director, you get the writer down the line. Um, you might be the technicians are going to be feeding in. Yeah, you've got a whole team. We were we were working on it for on and off for four years. I mean, that was the pandemic and stuff. But yeah, let's get to the to the Baldur's Gate. Because I'm sure you have a huge fan base now <laughs> with Baldur's <Fans>. Gate. <laughs> fellow, fellow lovers of the, the, the uh, Sword Coast. And we, we definitely need to talk about it as well. Uh, I honestly will say I haven't played it yet. I will, but I just can't now because I'm doing this. And let's be honest, playing Baldur's Gate, it would take me months and months and probably months. Because I remember last big biggest games that I played were Witcher 3 and mm. Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, and I spent so much time on them and I can't I can't afford it right now, but I will definitely play it. So no spoilers as well, which is as a rule. Uh, but let's talk about it because that's definitely something that I will play at some point when I have some time and I think a lot of people want to know some things. How long were you working on it? Four years. Four years. I mean, not every day. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, still four years. For four years, yeah. We were we were working on it for on and off for four years. I mean, that was the pandemic and stuff, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah, we were, I was working on it for four years. Uh, uh, to varying degrees. Sometimes it would be quite often, sometimes it would be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the, the, the writer, the eventually, one of the, I, I was told it was lead writer, I think there were a few lead writers, um, came on board with my character about two years in. So mm-hmm. it was, you know, it was one felt that they were, um, you know, reacting to, because the game was an early access as well. So you mm-hmm. could play it. It was, a, you know, it was, a, you, you could, mm-hmm. um, and then they were working, they were working with, uh, players playing it in early access and getting feedback and patching mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. All right, so four years, yeah, it's, it's quite a long, quite a long time. And mm. uh, during the, those four years, you couldn't talk yeah, about I mean, it. But also, sure. you didn't, but also, you didn't know. Again, no one, you never know really mm. whether that. I mean, I don't think any of us thought that. I mean, I'm not one of the sort of uh, origin characters, the main cast. Mm. I'm. Um, I had. I had. Oof, very no expectations about a the game or b that the, the, the people would like Roland mm-hmm. um, in the way that they <laughs> it's amazing, um, but but yeah I, I no one I die I don't think and the other the other video games that I've worked on you know mm-hmm. you don't know what's going to sort of grab people's mm-hmm. attention. Yeah, like was there any preparation that was needed for to, like to play Roland? <laughs> well, sassy, mm-hmm. arrogant. <laughs> Uh, grumpy, um, impatient. No, 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 no <laughs> crap. I just no. To be fair, it, you know, I didn't play just him. Played a few other roles, and this was the main role I played. Mm-hmm. And 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 when we would work, sometimes you'd be, you know, maybe a few weeks before, bef- between the last time we worked and working now, and you know that we have stuff to look at to remind me. But he was quite in my bone, you know, you play a character that long enough, you're lucky, you know, when we get lucky to play those characters for a long period of time, they do somehow sort of, you know, you get very, very familiar with them. And, and, mm-hmm. and whereas some of the other characters, I, I really did sort of need to get those reminders mm-hmm. of, you know, what do they say? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas with him, mm-hmm. it felt quite, uh, you know, there was a certain element of familiarity and ownership over, mm-hmm. over mm-hmm. that. All right, uh, but how how far away he is from you? Like, <laughs> no, I mean, like, he's, like, yeah, he's more he's more ambitious. I think he's very I mean, he a huge amount of ambition. He's got a greater, or maybe I do, but he's more ob- open about how highly he regards himself. Mm-hmm. Um, he's less afraid of of, of confronting. Mm-hmm. He's much more confrontational than I am, mm-hmm. um, and he has no time for. He's outspoken. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he's he's he. I think that's the big difference between me and him is, is that mm-hmm. he's very like um, he'll go he'll he'll go out and say it. He'll mm-hmm. be you know, he's very. And in terms of voice, how different is his voice from your regular voice, or is it kind of? Yeah, you? it's a little bit more. Um, 
I still sort of laid back. I think it's a little bit more. He, he is a slightly more authority authoritative figure. He's come. He's an authority figure. He's got. He's got the sort of leader complex. Or have, have you had to spend some time to find his voice? My audition for it. We did find it definitely in the first few sessions. I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, there are biographies and the sort of that. Remember, with with you know with some of these things, you get a you get a voice director, you get a movement director, you get the writer down the line. Um, you might the technicians are going to be feeding in. Yeah, you've got a whole team, mm -hmm. and you're in a, a mocap studio, um, and you're getting all of these wonderful inputs. So you're really you know you you you're getting so much help and sort of uh, nudges and sort of things. But without getting into details, like was it, it wasn't just uh, voice recording, it was also like... It was, um, was mocap, but it, was mo it, was motion, it wasn't facial recognition. So mm -hmm. the, the most I've ever done was for F1 2019, where it was my face mm -hmm. with the dots, all of my body movement mm -hmm. and my voice as a whole, a whole caboodle. Mm -hmm. um, but this was the sort of the next one down, it was just... Um, uh, body movements and voice, so that mm. the, the face was 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 not mm. captured. The facial, you know, expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the most difficult thing doing this role <laughs> in general? Well, with Roland, so you know, well, without any spoilers, but you sometimes you have to. There were there were moments where I played characters who were dead, um. So you have to be brought back to life. Mm. <laughs> so that's quite mm. nuts to be <laughs> like, okay, so. All right, Andre, we're gonna, we're gonna go again. You're dead. Mm -hmm. um, go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you should have said, I'm like, cool. You know, definitely don't have a lot of <laughs> experience with that. Right. <laughs> How much of the of this overall kind of storyline was given to you when you were working, or you were kind of every time when you're coming in, like, okay, there's another bit you need to do. Yeah, no, I mean, you 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 get to slowly get to piece together what's going on. What I love about it is often, you know, with these with these things, the worlds, the actors often don't know anything about them. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have a, 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 an idea of how to approach it. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think that was quite helpful. We didn't. I didn't know it was Baldur's Gate three. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was, you know, Faerun. Mm -hmm. I didn't know any of the stuff. I just knew that the code name for the game, who this character was, and then gradually you start to learn more and more as you're. Mm -hmm working on it from the scripts and also just through. Yeah, interesting. And that, that's, that leads me to, to the next question, which is, I always, always wondered that like when I was playing uh, other games with, let's say different endings and, you know, not linear uh, gameplay, how is the process of recording lines happens when you have different whole, like huge branches of dialogue? How do you do that? Like, do, what was the process there? I mean, you just have lots of life. <laughs> Lucky you, you got lots of life. But um, I think that's the job of, I mean, that was a brilliant, I worked with lots of brilliant um, directors, um, but there were some great directors on this. Um, you, you just, I suppose, have all the different dialogue options. Um, and I think it's, the, 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 the job is knowing what's come before. I mean, you, um, I, it's knowing the branches and what's involved, what you're mm -hmm. responding to. And I think, you know, that having a great director is super mm -hmm. helpful, knowing, you know, knowing as much as you can. But mm -hmm. yeah, you just, you, 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 you get through all of it. Um, and then if you're unsure, then you sort of go, just, just so I'm aware, what am I, res am I mm -hmm. responding to a dragon here? Mm -hmm. Or is it a, is it a, a milkmaid? Which one was it? Again? Oh, you go, great. Thank you, glad I asked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, do you have any favorite uh, quote from from Baldur's Gate from Roland? Yeah, I think the sort of I love um, the writing when it's um, adoring applause. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's how I feel about. Yeah, I I, I can see where he's coming from. All right. <laughs> nice. Um, how so when when the game came out how quick you realized that there is a whole like uh, 
fandom and a fan base even for you how how quickly did like kind of how quickly people found you and like oh this is wrong yeah i think to like uh, I, I again you have no idea it's it, no one had any idea um i, I mean i'm a gamer myself so i i, lo I loved i love seeing mm -hmm. what happened i continue to i love the community is amazing the sort mm -hmm. of Baltic community, the people who were involved with the, with, with with bringing it to life mm. are the luckiest because mm. um, we're afforded this sort of you know extra special um, um, uh, interest. Uh, but honestly, uh, the 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 level of sort of love and sort of positivity and joy is so fun. And I actually started streaming because mm -hmm. um, I've never played it before. <laughs> I played the game, mm -hmm. so I started doing it. And because of all the people. It's 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 super super fun mm. and super enjoyable because I, 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 it's a single player game, but doing it with all of the the you know the people who are there on the stream mm -hmm. <laughs> helping me sometimes. No, 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 yeah, I've seen your first stream. I've seen your first <laughs> stream. I think it's pretty good. But then again, uh, like I I thought of maybe I'll watch more, but then I decided. You know what? I'm going to play this game, so yeah. I don't, I don't want spoilers. I think, I, yeah, I wouldn't want spoilers, and I think I'd sort of almost, I, I make sure I don't sort of work anything out before I do it. And also, um, I think if I played the game before, then I might want to watch someone mm. else play it more because I'd sort of yeah, be yeah, interested yeah. in how they're going to react in those moments. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, is there anything that you want to say to Baldur's Gate community and your kind of fans? Um, don't be greedy. No, I am. Um, no, just uh, that. Uh, I, I don't think I have anything to say to the board of You can do anything about it. So, um, no, I don't, be, the only thing I have to say to the board of community is thank you so much for welcoming me into the world um, and being so supportive and generous and kind and funny and in, in imaginative and brilliant and yeah it's just been a total joy from beginning to end. nice is there anything roland wants to tell to them <laughs> no i think the applause is what he's after <laughs>